Hello, welcome to Obscure. <laughs> welcome to Animal Profiles number four with the Caracal, brought to you by the cicadas outside. Because they won't shut up. The cicadas, they're everywhere. Can't close the window because the window is kind of stuck right now. <laughs> Anyways, also, before the video starts, I need to get out my pointer. And make sure to like and subscribe. Liking is clicking the thumbs up button that you might see over here. And subscribing is the big red one that you might see over here. It gives you the chance to click the little bell icon and then click all to get all of my future notifications. Because some of my other videos, no one else is doing it. Like, um, two videos ago was, um... What was it? Another five scary animals in speculative zoology. <laughs> and then also the new dinosaurs updated edition. Eye in the corner for those. And yeah, I'm with the video. And I made it dark mode friendly, so all of you dark mode users can now watch my videos without getting your eyes pierced. Location and habitat. Caracals live in the African grasslands, and they use the tall grass to their advantage. They need tall grass to hunt effectively. So they can, like, hide from their prey in the grass, and then they pop up, kill the prey, and eat it. <laughs> Diet. Caracals are hunting cats, so they, need, so they eat meat, of course, mainly because they're cats and they have hunter teeth. They normally hunt guinea fowl and can jump to tremendous heights. They can normally take down the birds before they get out of the cat's range. They can, I think, correct, correct me in the comments if I'm definitely wrong, but I think they can jump up to heights of 10 feet, which is still pretty tall for an animal that's about the size of a house cat. This is basically the wild more agile variant of the house cat. Babies. A single female caracal can have about three babies at a time. As, ki as the kittens mature, they grow their signature ear tufts. They learn everything from their mother, like how to land safely when they jump ten feet in the air, and how to hunt guinea fowl, because they're pretty agile. They're like, they're, they're like flying chickens. They can run really fast, they can fly, and they're like alarm clocks, so they can sound an alarm to other neighboring guinea fowl and other neighboring animals like wildebeest or zebra. zebra. <laughs> Identification. The fur of the caracal is all brown with black stripes on the face. The key point of this cat's identification are the black ear tufts of black tufts of fur on the ears and seeing them jump straight into the air also light mode warning for all the dark users uh, next time is the queen parrotfish i will see you in the next video